Majesty's Court is now in session. The Right Honourable Lord Justice Bentley Mumford presiding. Be seated. The case of the Crown versus Angela Ashton. Charge is murder with intent to kill. <laughs> is the Crown Prosecutor present in court? Yes, my lord. Is the Counsel for Defence present in court? Yes, my lord. Oh. <laughs> Bring on the defendant, Mrs. Angela Ashton. This is Angela Ashton. Since you have refused counsel, it is my duty to inform you that the Right Honourable Sir Geoffrey Barclay has come forth and volunteered his services on your behalf. Oh, if it please the court, I should like to have a few moments alone with my client. As you know, I have never met her nor spoken to her, and I should like to get a few pertinent facts about this case, such as what it's all about. Yes. <laughs> is it granted? Thank you. Someone get me a flashlight, it's so dark I can't see what I'm saying. <laughs> My Lord! Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am about to make a statement in front of this court. I think I'm falling in love. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. I'll see you later, darling. I accept the case. Will the Crown Prosecutor make his opening remarks? Lord, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, and my learned colleague, I believe that I'm not going to fully earn my keep as the prosecutor for the Crown today, because it's an open and shut case. I shall prove conclusively that this woman, although I think I'm falling in love with her too, <laughs> is a cold, cruel, blooded, heartless murderess. Oh. Will the counsel for defense make his opening remarks? May I have my lucky wig, please? <laughs> <laughs> Your Lord, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, learned counsel. No doubt my, my learned counsel has told you that my client is a cold blooded murderess. And no doubt he will parade before you an armory of evidence and an army of witnesses. But, ladies and gentlemen, these witnesses will tell you that they actually saw, they actually saw Mrs. Ashton kill her husband, that they actually saw Mrs. Ashton shoot the gun, that they actually saw the blast, that they actually, actually saw the blast from the gun, that they actually heard the blast from the gun, that they actually saw Mr. Ashton fall, that they actually saw Mrs. Ashton standing over her husband with a smoking gun in her hand. But I implore you, I beseech you, ladies and gentlemen, don't, don't believe them. <laughs> don't believe them, they're just here for kicks, believe me, they're all. I fail to see the relevancy of this remark. I fail at... You fail, you fail, you fail your bar exam five times. My lord, I'm sick of that case. I'm sick of that Gentlemen, will the Crown Prosecutor call his first witness? My lord, I did not fail my bar exam. I got a B plus in it and he knows it. My lord, contrary to what the counsel for defense said, I will not waste the time of the court by parading 20 witnesses. Instead, I will give you their sworn statements, 20 of them that it says to the fact that they saw Mrs. Ashton shoot her husband. I shall go but one witness, and a technical witness at that, Dr. Eustace Poultis. Dr. Dr. Eustace Poultis, to the stand, please. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Dr. Poultis. Is this the bullet you removed from the brain of the deceased? That is right. Is this the gun that fired the bullet? That is right. You find Mrs. Ashton's fingerprints on this gun? Correct. Can we conclude then that this bullet killed Mr. Ashton? Yes. No further questions? Your witness. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Bogus, how long have you been a quack? I object, my lord. <laughs> I object to the kind of question. I object. He didn't object. Why should you object? <laughs> Never mind, strike the question. <laughs> Dr. Poultis, how do we know that that was the bullet that uh, killed Dudley Ashton? Because it made a hole in his head. <laughs> Very funny. But uh, can we certainly say that uh, maybe, maybe Mr. Ashton 
had a hole in his head before he was shot. I don't believe that he did. But we cannot say for a certainty that he did not have a hole in the head before he was shot, right? No, we cannot. Therefore, my lord, I submit that Mrs. Ashton only shot that gun to plug up the hole in his husband's head. <laughs> have you finished with Dr. Poulter? Sir, I have one more question, my lord. Proceed. Dr. Poulter, why is it that whenever I eat sauerkraut, I get a burning sensation? Right? <laughs> I have picked, my lord. Learned counsel is only trying to save a butt. All right, right. strike the question. All right, I'll do it. It's my problem, sir. Thank you. Silver Crown Prosecutor. Thank you. Thank you, Major Bavoy. We'll not waste the time of court. My preparating witnesses before you. Those 20 affidavits attest to the fact that this is... The law! The law! If it pleases the court, I have a, a message here that will be of great interest to someone in this court. <laughs> will the man with the license plate number <laughs> GB405-163 kindly remove his Jaguar from the driveway in front of the court. You are blocking a garbage truck. Well, Lord, I fail to see what my Jaguar on the driveway blocking a garbage truck has anything to do with this case. The driver of that garbage truck happens to be my surprise witness. A sanitation man? That's right. Bring in my surprise garbage man. Surprise garbage man to the stand. Garbage man. I'm here. I'm here. What is it? Oh, yes, sir. I promise to tell the truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth. Right, you better, yes, sir. That's why I'm here. I will tell it, yes, sir, to my dying day, yes. yes. Will you state your name and your occupation, please? Albert Egan, sir. I am a sanitation expert. How long have you been a garbage man? Well, sir, I have, I have worn this here uniform for over 37 years, sir. Oh, not this one here. I have another one which I can't do. Yes, sir. My, my father was a garbage man. My grandfather was a garbage man. My great grandfather was a garbage man. My family's been in garbage for over a hundred years. <laughs> I have to I fail to see what this testimony has to do if with the case. If my learned counsel stop flipping his wig, I will show what it has to do with the case. Really? Now, yes, sir. what is your connection with Mrs. Ashton? Uh, well, see, she says she's on my route, sir. I picked her up, I believe I picked her up on uh, uh, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, sir. And might I say, sir, that a neater, more beautiful put out of garbage it has never been my privilege to pick up. <laughs> it's true, sir. We have, a, we, we have a little saying in the department, sir. We always say that you can always tell about a person's character from the quality of his garbage. Very true. Yes, sir. Will the bailiff bring in Exhibit C? Oh, Lord, I fail to see what this garbage testimony is anything but a bunch of rubbish. Now, will you please let me offer it myself, will you? Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Gift wrapped garbage. Gift wrapped. There you are in front of your eyes. Now, does this look like the garbage of a murderer? So I'd ask you. I object, my own. What is this garbage brought into the house? If the learned counsel will only let me explain, I am basing my entire case upon garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take this away. You may trip down. Yes, sir. Take yes. your garbage with you. I will, sir. I wish to call one more witness, my lord. Proceed. Proceed. Call Mrs. Angela Ashton to the stand. Mrs. Angela Ashton to the stand, please. Step right up here. Oh, thank you. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Because that's the way I am. <laughs> that's why I love you, madame. <laughs> the law. I'm going to ask my client one question. And on her answer, I will prove her innocence. And I base my entire reputation upon her answer. Mrs. Ashton, did you or did you not kill your husband? I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Strike all that reputation jazz from the record. Uh, let me put it to you another way, darling. Uh, do you know of anyone who could have possibly killed your husband? Oh, well, I killed him. Really? <laughs> My dear, I must remind you, I'm not here for, on trial for jaywalking, you know. This is it. I mean, this is the murder. Would you mind crossing your legs or get something from the jury? Help yourself. Not that far, dear. There we are. <laughs> now I shall ask you one more question, Mrs. Ashton. Where did the police find the murder weapon? Well, sweetheart, they didn't find it. I, uh, uh they didn't find it. <laughs> they didn't find it? No, sir, I, ah! I mailed it to them. You mailed it to them? <laughs> well, that locks that up. Yes. Mr. Moat. Now, I see the relevancy of this case. I see it now. 
in all his glory and glory. Yes, I do. She is not the murderess. She is only covering up for someone. I tell you that's true. And I know. She is under a guise. A big, fat guise. And I tell you that she is innocent because she is covering up for someone in this courtroom now. Lord, I didn't believe we came here to see a spectacular. <laughs> Although the choreography was award-winning. <laughs> Very good. Well, Lord, I believe I will have to play my trump card now. Bring out the equipment. Quickly now. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Lord, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, and my learned counsel, we were fortunate that there was a camera bug at the party who took home movies of the murder. And we shall see these movies right now. Lights, please. Now, here we have the party. We see Mrs. Ashton serving drinks, but that diabolical mind is at work, as you shall soon see. Watch carefully now. Mrs. Ashton is looking at her husband there with his back to her. She takes the gun from the wall. Quite graphic, isn't it? She points the gun at Mr. Ashton. There, there's the bullet. There he goes, a crumpled mess. I think uh, we've seen enough, haven't we? Oh. Well, what do you think of that, Sir Geoffrey? No cartoon, no rules reel or anything? <laughs> very funny, very funny. You're a regular Danny Kaye, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think I've proven conclusively that that woman is a murderer. Well, Lord, I shall prove with Sir Oliver's conclusive evidence that my client is completely innocent. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I, too, have a picture taken from the same camera book. Now, may I have my, my closing wig? Thank you. <laughs> Here we see a picture taken from the same. As you see, the bullet is still in the air. This picture was taken six, minutes, six seconds before Mr. Ashton died. As you see, he is clutching his stomach. Therefore, he was shot in the head, but here he's clutching his stomach. Therefore, I make the statement, my lord, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that Mr. Ashton was dead before he was shot. Yes. <laughs> how? How? Mr. Ashton was poisoned. Poisoned? Oh, that's what I have you, my learned counsel. For your information, the autopsy showed not a trace of poison. That's how much you know. That's how much you know. He was poisoned by an untraceable poison called radiculine. Radiculine? Well, even if this ridiculous radiculine story is true, who, pray tell, administered the poison? Whom? I shall tell you whom. I said who. All right, let it be who. All right. <laughs> who? That person is right here in this room, and I shall point him out to you. I didn't know. I based my entire case upon luck. If this man hadn't have run, I'd still be doing this. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, you wretched man, why did you do this? Oh, I'll tell you why, because I hated him. And why did I hate him? Because he was cruel and to her and threatened to kill her. So I poisoned him first. And you, knowing full well of all this, why did you cover this man up? Well, because he's my father. I am a father, I'm so dear, daughter. You see, sir, I, I embezzled some money many years ago and I ran away so that my family should not be caught in the scandal. You see, I ran away to the China Seas. 
The China Seas. That's right. On the HMS Golden Dragon. That's right. How did you know? Daddy. <laughs> Oliver! Me, Oliver! Oliver! Oh, Oliver! And, and you must be my sister. Oh, can you ever forgive me for the horrible things I said about you, sis? <laughs> it's all right, brother Oliver. It's good to see you. So sorry. Come, let us reunite. What a wonderful night. And this must make me... Nothing. I am not related. <laughs> Just a moment, I have Can we have another second? It's a big yes, no, 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 no. We're quite finished now. Milord, yes. please the court. Uh, the whole family's here. You're doing nothing. Shall we have the, you perform the ceremony? Oh, darling, I... Mother, mother...